body to melt into the floor. We release the heaviness of the head, feeling a nice openness in the back of the neck. We start to, again, notice that breath. Where is the breath holding in the body tonight? Is it short and choppy? Is it long and fluid? Is it holding in the chest or is it moving throughout the entire body? We just kind of notice where we are. And we start to notice the sounds in the room, the sounds outside. We might even hear the sound of our own breath. We just use all of these as reminders to come back to this space on our mat, to this yoga practice we're in this evening together. And again, taking a nice big inhale, we start to send that awareness down the back of the neck through the shoulders, checking in with the upper spine, wrapping that awareness around the rib cage. We might find some focus at the heart center, at the chest. I just encourage you to take a moment here to feel into these parts of the body this evening. Just noticing, not holding on too long. As we continue exhaling, sending that breath through the ribs, around the navel, the hips, the low spine. We send that awareness and breath through the sit bones, the hips, the thighs, wrapping around the knees, through the shins, calves, the ankles, the toes. And if at any time this posture feels uncomfortable for you, feel free to make it your own. If you need to shimmy and move, please feel free. We'll just be here for a few more breaths. Continuing to arrive and unwind. So our practice this evening will be a gentle warm-up. We might start to pick up the pace and heat the body, and then we'll start to wind down again. So I just encourage you to be as present as you can, feel into the movements, the breath, the postures, and just enjoy your body, this time of self-care, of stillness, As we just take a few more breaths in this posture, I'll be offering adjustments throughout our practice. So if the palms are facing the floor, I may come around to help you get just a little bit deeper, maybe adjust or correct some postures. If the palms are facing the ceiling, I'll know to give you your space tonight. So maybe you'd prefer not to be touched. we continue to forward fold as we just gently power up the arms so we connect the fingertips to the floor we might teepee the palms away from the ground and again just continue dropping the forehead to the floor we start to gently walk the fingertips a little bit further trying to make that space underneath the armpits in the chest in the arms the shoulders and as we gently exhale we'll release the palms once again we'll release the heaviness of arms we'll start to bend into the elbows, pressing into the floor, and then connecting the palms together, dropping the thumbs behind the back of the neck. So to get a deeper stretch, you may even press deeper into the elbows here, work into the tricep. Feel some openness in the spine, some openness in the heart center, reaching through the chest. And just continue creating this nice deep exhale and inhale. As we next exhale, we'll release the palms and we slowly tuck the chin, draw the spine back to seated. We'll just float ourselves. Inhaling palms will come right to the heart. We'll close the eyes, intentionally relax the face, allow those shoulders to melt away from the ears. We just take another moment here to acknowledge this space, to set an intention for our practice together. So as we inhale deeply through the nose, 
big exhale to the mouth. Good. Continue to inhale deep through the nose. We lengthen through the crown. And big exhales to the mouth. Just a few more deep breaths as we just get super clear on why we showed up tonight. Maybe we'd like to work on something. Maybe we'd like to let go of something. We may even want to just dedicate this practice to someone who isn't able to be here. So we take a, t a moment to get clear. On the next exhale, releasing palms to thighs. As we sweep the fingers out to the side walls, we'll gaze at the ceiling, palms find each other. Exhaling, releasing palms back to the heart. Again, inhale, we reach wide with the fingers, painting fingers across the ceiling. Exhale, palms find each other. Again, release back to the heart. And one more time, same thing. We reach even further, opening the heart center. And then exhaling, releasing back to the heart. On the inhale, let's just release those palms to the thighs. If this is comfortable to be on the ankles, feel free to stay here. Another option is to just find the sit bones. So just pick your stance right now. We'll start to inhale, opening the throat, gazing towards the ceiling. On the exhale, dropping the chin towards the chest, we'll open up the back of the neck. And again, inhaling, eyes find the ceiling. Big opening on the exhale, drawing the chin to the heart. One more time, we'll gaze towards the ceiling. Big exhale, releasing the heaviness of the head. So as we're folding here, we start to just gently roll the head from side to side. We'll take a moment of breath at each shoulder. We might reach deep into the side of the neck as we make our way left and right side. So think about going as slow as you can. We might have this feeling of needing to rush through, and I just encourage you to do your best to feel into the neck, to feel into the facial muscles, and kind of notice where the body is, in, is starting to hold. Is it in the face? Is it in the shoulders? So we relax the eyes, relax the jaw. We just take this time to continue slowing down wherever the day has taken us so far, whatever experiences we've had, we acknowledge these moments, but we continue to let go. With each exhale, we release a little bit more. We let go of that fear. We let go of that self-judgment. We let go of those negative thoughts. And whichever ear, whichever shoulder you're closest to, we're just going to pause for a moment. We'll glue the ear to that shoulder and beginning to reach with the same side fingers to assist. We just gently release that same side shoulder and tuck a little bit deeper. Opposite fingers might open up a little bit more to assist on opposite shoulder. Good. On the next exhale, we just start to tuck the chin towards the shoulder, the armpit. And fingers might move to the back of the skull. So again, we invite a nice tug to the neck to get a little bit deeper. We might, again, assist with the opposite side shoulder. or just releasing the hand wherever it feels comfortable. Inhaling, releasing fingers will gently sweep over to opposite side. So first that ear will find the shoulder. We'll just find this nice openness in the side neck. We'll take a nice deep breath. Same side fingers might assist to get a teeny bit deeper. Opposite fingers might, again, connect to the shoulder. Finding that deep breath, inhaling and exhaling. On the next exhale, chin drops to shoulder, and then fingertips just move to the back of the head. We might continue opening through opposite shoulder, just release through the side. Keep making that space. On the next inhale, we'll slowly release. We'll start to lift and lengthen. Inhaling, shoulders draw towards the ears. Let's squeeze for a moment and hold, and we'll intentionally squeeze the face too. And on the exhale, we'll release the shoulders, let go of the facial muscles. Again, inhale, we'll draw the shoulders to ears, squeeze for a breath. On the next exhale, we'll drop down, make that space. 
Again, inhale, we'll squeeze. On the exhale, we'll roll the shoulders forward. So we make that space in the upper spine. Inhaling, we'll draw the shoulders back. And then exhale, release forward. So you're just finding that space wherever you can. Just remembering that intention. Try to bring it with you as we move. So still warming up the body. Finding that focus spot on the floor, closing the eyes. Inhale deep and exhale drop. As we inhale towards the shoulders, we'll take a moment. Exhaling, let's release shoulders back. So we'll open the heart a bit more. We'll inhale and squeeze and begin sh rolling those shoulders back. Open the heart. Good. Keep sending that breath through the body. Another inhale, we'll squeeze towards the ears. Exhale, let's just release the shoulders to neutral. On the next inhale, right palm will find the floor. We'll start to just tip over into that right side, reaching through the fingertips of opposite. And think about softly releasing into the floor. Allow the neck to release. Maybe you are high on the hand or the wrist, or maybe you can reach deeper onto the elbow. Also, those blocks are there for your support, so feel free to use that height if you need a little bit of support. Opening the heart towards the ceiling. And as we stay here, we just gently open the heart a bit higher towards the sky. And a big inhale here, exhale, we'll release down. And then inhaling, sweeping back through center, we'll head over to opposite side, banking into the hand, maybe releasing into elbow, opening through the arm and the shoulder. We take a nice deep breath as we release into the floor. And then opening heart center towards the sky, we take a nice big inhale. And exhale, releasing back to side. From here, we continue forward folding. We'll just walk our way through center. We'll take a moment just to fold and rest the head. Releasing either onto a block or the elbows, the wrists. Maybe the forehead finds the floor. So notice how the hips are feeling, the knees are feeling. Maybe you need to make a little bit more space. Maybe we extend through one leg if you're feeling some tightness or numbness in the legs. So continuing to invite that nice deep breath in. Noticing how the body's feeling. As we next inhale halfway, just gently walking over to your left side. We'll slowly start to bow and release heaviness of head towards the knee. Release the back of the neck. Feel that nice openness in the side rib cage. Maybe even walking fingertips a little bit further. Reaching through. And as we stay on this left side with fingers connected, with head forward folding, we just invite a small twist into the spine left and right. I just invite you to kind of explore where those edges are. Can we get a little bit deeper? Can we rotate a little bit more? Think about small movements, just easing your way into a deeper space. Left and right rocking. As we find some stillness, we start to inhale halfway and begin walking the body, floating through center. We'll head over to opposite side, releasing heaviness of head towards the knee. And again, just finding that deep breath. Noticing how this left side is feeling, creating that space in the rib cage, releasing back of neck, feeling into the sit bones and the knees. Maybe we walk those fingers a little bit further. And as we continue forward folding, we just invite a nice rotation of the spine. So we kind of wiggle our way left and right, just explore into the hips. Explore into the spine. Where can I find some more space this evening? Inhaling, we find some stillness. We start to lift halfway and walking back through center. We press through the palms. We slowly stack the spine. Inhaling, sweeping arms out. And then finding the palms together. Exhale, release back to the heart. On the next inhale, we just start to release our palms, one to the navel, one to the heart center. 
Let's think about stacking the spine, retracting the chin, lengthening through the crown of the head. We might close the eyes or find a focus spot on the floor. So as we begin to intentionally shift our breath, we start to inhale through the nose and big exhale through the mouth. As we inhale through the nose, we fill the belly with air. And as we exhale, we just soften the navel. We might draw the core into the spine slightly. Again, inhaling, fill, filling the belly with air. Lengthen through the crown. Exhale, release the navel, maybe draw into the spine. Just notice what might feel good for you this evening. If this nostril uh, mouth breathing is not for you, then feel free to just breathe through the nose or just through the, the mouth. We take this time to just tune into ourselves. The world takes us and pulls us in so many different directions. We need to take this time to come back to ourselves, this core energy of who we are. Relaxing the face, relaxing the eyes. Another big inhale, and as we exhale, releasing palms to the knees, we just start to tip back slowly. We start to place those palms on the tops of the knees. We really root into the sit bones. And then inhaling, drawing the heart into the thighs. We might gaze towards the ceiling. Exhale, let's start to C curve the spine. We tuck the chin, we just reach back. And again, inhaling, we draw in, we glue the ribs to the thighs. We drop the shoulders away from ears. And then we exhale, we release. So we find this nice rhythmic pattern in our own bodies, and we're all gonna look a little different. So just pay attention to your own physical, mental space. We inhale and we lift, we exhale and we curve. Think about reaching through the heart and then reaching through the spine, spreading those wings as far as you can. As we next inhale, we start to find some balance on those sit bones. The toes might find the ceiling, uh, find the floor, <laughs> not the ceiling yet. So the fingertips will reach behind the knees. We'll roll the shoulders down, the heart will open, and we'll just start to find some balance here. So maybe one leg starts, maybe both legs easily lift. We'll power up the elbows, reach to the side wall. We open through the heart once again. We just find that breath. Notice how the breath may have changed. We soften the face, relax the eyes. On the exhale, we'll cross our ankles, release palms, the sides of hips. The toes find the floor, we'll lift just for a breath. And then exhale, release back down. We'll come back to our boat. So power up those elbows, we open through the heart. Another big inhale, on the exhale, cross ankles opposite way. We release the palms, we lift. And then exhale, release. We'll find our balance once again. We may even play around with releasing the arms. And maybe one at a time, just see how that is for you. Notice how the breath again might change. On the exhale, we'll just cross those ankles again, releasing palms. We'll start to press into the floor. We lift the body weight. And then finding again connection with the earth, we start to come back. So we open through the heart, we'll lift. Imagine that cable or string pulling the crown of the head towards the ceiling. From here, we may start to just straighten one leg. We may straighten the other, whatever is available to you. Options here to release the hands, to have a little extra support, maybe even bending into the knees. And as we exhale, let's cross the ankles, we'll release once again, we press into the floor, we start to lift. And then exhale, release. So from here, we'll start to scooch close to the top of our mat as we begin to roll into the spine. So we'll place those thumbs and fingers underneath the knee. We'll start to massage the spine, rock and roll forward and back through the hips, through the shoulders. And we take that breath with us, inhaling and exhaling with each movement. So we might check in with the right side of the spine. We might check in with the left side of the spine. Just massaging your way.
Good, as we start to exhale forward, we slowly roll onto knees and then begin rolling over. We find our hands. We start to walk back to center of mat. We'll stack the knees underneath those hips. We'll stack the wrists underneath shoulders. We start to move into our cat cow, so we'll drop the belly and lift the eyes. We open the throat. Exhaling, tucking chin, curving to the spine. So again, just find that rhythmic pattern for yourself, faster or slower. Continue taking that breath with you. As we reach the belly towards the floor, we open the heart, we reach through the crown. As we lift through the spine, we press into the palms and the tops of the feet. We spread those wings as far as we can. Maybe even closing those eyes so we can really feel into the spine. Feel into the wrists and the ankles and the knees. Another deep inhale. As we exhale, we move back to our tabletop. On the inhale, we'll start to peek over the right shoulder, allowing left hips to fall to side. Inhaling through center, we'll head over to the opposite. So again, we find the side to side cat cow. We roll the spine, we shift the weight. We continue bringing that breath with us. Just reaching as far as we can, relaxing the eyes and the face. Another inhale, we move back through center. So knees will come nice and wide. As we bend into the elbows, we slowly roll the hips forward. So we come in up to an upward facing dog variation. We open through the heart. On the exhale, tucking the chin, we'll roll and undulate the spine. We find our child's pose, taking a nice deep breath here. Again, exhale, we start to curve through the spine. We lift the hips and then start to come into And then we just continue rolling the spine as if you're a wave in the ocean, forward and back. Just feeling into the body, making that space, enjoying your health, enjoying this movement we have. There's no reason to rush. There's nowhere else to be. We're here in our yoga practice together. So finishing up wherever you are as we make our way, coming back into our neutral spine, we find this tabletop position. We might stack those knees once again underneath the hips, wrists underneath the shoulders. On the inhale, left knee comes to center line of body, right palm comes to center. We start to tuck opposite hand and knee. We'll bow the head. We find this nice balance. On the ne next inhale, we start to reach through fingers and toes. So notice if the right hip is hiking out, we start to square back up. Imagine that glass of water on the spine. Exhale, we start to tuck. We hold for a breath. And then inhaling, reaching through fingers, reaching through toes. Again, just finding this nice rhythmic pattern, whichever pace feels best for your body tonight. Continuing to inhale and exhale and just reorganize. Spreading those fingers nice and wide. Keep breathing. Wherever you are in the cycle, we start to extend to the fingers and toes. If the wrist becomes fatigued, always feel free to come onto that wrist or use those blocks. From here, we start to pulse the leg and the arm together. Nice and controlled, we power up the body, the shoulders, the hips, the glute. Next to exhale, we find stillness. We just bend into the back knee. We might reach back with the left arm to connect with the toes or just reach in that direction if that's available for you. So if you are connecting with the toes, we might even kick the foot into the hand to create a higher lift and opening in the heart. We might move the gaze towards the ceiling. And if you come out, just come right back when you're ready. No worries. We're all practicing together. Another big inhale here. Exhale, we slowly lower. Let's find that child's pose. Knees nice and wide. We'll just release the forehead. Next inhale, we'll roll the spine. We'll come back through our undulations. So we throw the hips forward. We open through the 
Exhaling, tucking chin, we come back to neutral spine. We'll just stack the knees, we'll stack the wrists. We'll head to opposite side. So right knee and left hand, find center line of body. We tuck with the opposites. On the inhale, we'll reach through fingers and toes. So imagine that glass of water on the back, hips are square to the floor. We engage the core slightly. And then on the exhale, when you're ready, we start to tuck. And just find that pace that feels good to you. Inhaling, reaching. Exhale, we tuck. Pressing strong through the palms, reaching through fingers and toes. Going slow and controlled. Wherever you are in this cycle, as we start to reach out next, we find some stillness. We start to pulse the arm and the leg. So we create this strength and heat in the body. We find this new focus. We find this new breath. And as we find some stillness, we start to kick that back knee. We reach back with the right arm. So we may just reach in that direction, or we might make a connection with the foot or the ankle, or maybe even that pant leg. If you do find the foot start to kick the, hand, the foot into the hand, we press through and lift towards the ceiling. The eyes might shift towards the ceiling. Another big inhale here. As we exhale, we'll slow release. Knees come nice and wide. Let's come down into our child's pose. Releasing the forehead, releasing the body. Continuing to find that nice deep breath. On the next inhale, we start to roll the spine back to tabletop. We stack through the knees. And then just taking our right arm underneath, threading underneath the left side, we'll start to drop the right shoulder to the floor. So releasing the heaviness of the head, maybe even widening the knees slightly if that feels more comfortable, more stable. So as we inhale, we take the left fingertips, we walk them overhead, so still connected to the floor, just walking the fingers behind the head. We start to open the left side of the rib cage. We might begin to peek underneath the left armpit. Good, as we exhale, just that left finger, the left hand comes back to the eyes. We start to press the left palm into the floor, shifting more weight into the right knee. And then beginning to reach back with the left toes, we extend through the left leg. So toes are connected to the floor. We just shift more weight into right side. We take a breath here. Inhaling, we may bind the left arm around the spine, maybe connecting to the low back, maybe connecting to the hip crease. So notice where that breath goes. If you've lost the breath, and just invite that exhale back into your practice. Got another inhale here. As we exhale, we'll slowly unwind. We'll start to reconnect to the earth. Left palm presses into the floor. We find that tabletop. We'll head over to opposite side. So we start to thread the left arm underneath the right. We'll release the left shoulder. We start to widen those knees if that's available. And just walking those right fingertips overhead. We may even walk fingertips beyond the center line of the body behind the crown. Peeking underneath the right shoulder, we start to rotate the spine. We open the heart. So find that deep breath. Good, big inhales and big exhales just for a few more breaths.
On the exhale, slowly releasing right palm comes back to the eyes. We start to shift more weight into left knee, kicking back through the right toes. We connect to the mat. And think about reaching through that right heel. So we really wake up the right side, the back side of the right leg. So we might even press deeper into the right palm to shift the weight. And as you're ready, we wrap the arm behind the spine. We connect to the tailbone. We might connect to the left thigh. We find that new balance. We find that new breath. But as we slowly exhale, let's begin to unwind. We'll just reconnect, we'll come back to our tabletop. On the inhale, we start to tuck our toes, let's lift our hips to the sky. We start to pedal out those heels, wagging the tailbone, reaching through. Continue breathing. Good, release the jaw, relax the face. Find that new focus spot. On the inhale, feet find stillness about hip width apart. Fingers nice and wide. Eyes find the fingers as we gently shift the weight over the wrist. So hips fall forward, we find this plank. We take a nice deep breath here, drawing through the navel. Exhale, let's lift through the hips. We find our downward facing dog once again. Another inhale, we'll roll the spine. We find our plank, we shift that weight. Take a nice deep breath here. On the exhale, we'll lift back. Another deep inhale here, left palm finds center line of body. So feet should be pretty wide in this stance. On the next inhale, we start to reach the right palm back to meet the left leg. So either the knee, the calf, the outside of the leg. We find that nice deep strength in the left arm. Engaging to the core, keeping your breath. We rotate underneath the left armpit. We reach and peek towards the ceiling. Think about powering up the legs, lifting through the kneecaps, reaching through the heels. On the next exhale, we'll slowly unwind, we'll switch it up. So right palm finds center. We start to reach back with the right. We just connect with the outer thigh, the knee. Peeking underneath the right shoulder, we open through the heart and the rib cage. Pressing through the fingers nice and wide. Think about reaching through the heels, power up the thighs, lift through the kneecaps. Strong, vibrant body. Got another exhale heel here. We start to come back. We just root through our downward facing dog. On the next inhale, let's start to lift into tippy toes. So heels peel off the floor. Exhale, heels drop back to the earth. Inhaling, lifting onto those tippy toes. Exhale, heels will drop. Again, inhaling, we find some stillness on the tippy toes. Exhale, bending into knees, arms stay the same, we just lower the hips. Inhale, we start to lift and lengthen through the legs. Exhale, let's bend into knees. So we start to warm up the legs, lifting and dropping. Keep that breath with you. Reaching through the tailbone. Get another lift here, we'll drop through the heels. On the next exhale, elbows gently find the mat. So we lower slowly. And then we just walk our thumbs towards each other. We might even interlace the fingers if that's available to us. And we start to just place the crown of the head at the base of the wrists. So without coming all the way into our headstand, we just start to slowly walk the toes towards the nose. We think about lifting high through the hips. Lots of power and strength in the shoulders. Make that space between shoulders and ears lift tall through the spine. As you exhale, we slowly walk those toes back out. We find our elbow plank. So we might come off the mat slightly so we can lower those hips or we might shimmy forward so we have that space. We engage through the core, we'll squeeze through the glutes, power up the thighs, find that new breath. Good, on the exhale, we just slowly lower the hips. We'll release the body onto the floor. Chest finds the mat. We start to reach through the fingertips. And then exhaling, chin finds the floor. You just catch that breath. Good, another inhale. We'll start to lift through the crown. We'll start to press through the palms as we walk the hands back. So think about uh, drawing the thighs together, zipping up the legs. 
engaging the glutes, dropping the shoulders away from the ears, and then just pressing into the palms. If this is not available, feel free to come onto those elbows. We'll take a couple breaths here. On the exhale, we slowly come back, releasing the heart to the floor, releasing the chin. Inhaling, palms come nice and wide so we find this T position with the arms. If you find your neighbor, just say hi. <laughs> we'll start to bend into the right knee. We're going to kick the right leg behind the body. We start to come into a spinal twist. We open the right side. Feel that deep opening in the hip flexor. Maybe a little bit of tightness in the back, but we'll come out soon. Again, continuing to just take care of your body tonight. We're all going to look a little different. Just you do you. Make sure you're healthy and happy. Continue breathing. Find that exhale. On the next inhale, we'll slowly roll back through center. Let's head right over to opposite side. So we'll bend through the left knee. We'll kick on back. We'll send it over. Taking a few deep breaths. Maybe we connect to the floor with the toe. Maybe we just hover and reach. And finding that breath again. Another deep inhale. As we exhale, we slowly roll back to center. Inhaling, palms come to the chest, elbows squeeze in Y. We start to zip up the thighs. We begin to press through the palms. And just lifting high into your cobra. On the exhale, let's release back down. We're going to come right back in, so keep the elbows nice and tucked. Exhale, zip through the thighs, press through the palms. Maybe a little bit higher this time, we reach to the crown of the head. And then as we exhale, slow release here. As we re release the chin, we start to reach to the crown. And then kicking through the knees, we'll just release the hands again and start to reach back. So maybe we can connect. Maybe we just reach in that direction. If you are connecting, we slowly start to lift the head. And we start to kick into the hands at the same time. So you might find that your belly is and your hips and your thighs are what's connecting to the floor. We find that deep belly breath. It may even move the body slightly. Continue kicking through the feet. Another deep inhale. We start to exhale, release here. Palms come back to the heart. We start to reverse push up. We come to the knees. Then we sit back into our child's pose. Knees come nice and wide. We'll sit into the heels, releasing the forehead. Maybe walking those fingertips a little bit further. And we find that deep exhale as we release into the earth. Inhaling, we roll the spine forward, we find our tabletop. Knees come back underneath those hips. We'll start to tuck our toes. On the exhale, we lift through those hips. So again, we come into our downward dog. We start to shift weight into right foot. Left leg lifts behind. We'll open left hip to side while dropping heels behind the sit bones. You take a nice deep breath. We may even shift some weight back into the left shoulder. We'll spread the fingers nice and wide. On the exhale, we shift forward into our plank. Once again, left knee finds left elbow. We start to draw into the spine. Exhale, let's release three-legged dog, reaching through the heel. Inhale, we shift forward once again, warming up the body. Exhale, we start to kick and reach. On this next forward motion, we bend through the knee. We start to come into a nice deep lunge. So we may take a few steps. That back or that right knee might find the floor first. Make your way gently. We'll start to kind of rock left and right so we can feel into this right side. And finding that new focus spot, finding that deep breath. So feel free to use the blocks here, or if you'd like to come a little bit deeper, we can come onto those elbows. Start to release into the right side. Think about that left knee peeling out to the left side of the body. Maybe even the left toes are rolling out. And we'll just continue to focus, finding that breath, remembering that intention that we set in the beginning of practice. Remembering to find patience with your body. Another deep inhale. We'll connect the palms to the floor. We start to shoot the hips behind. We'll straighten up the front leg. 
And just bowing the forehead towards the knee, we'll start to point and flex. Go ahead, next inhale, we draw forward slightly. We'll just start to sweep through, knees find each other, tucking toes once again, we lift into our down dog. So we'll pedal through the heels just a few times. We shift into the opposite side, so right knee and leg lift behind the body, we'll open the right side. We'll start to drop the heel behind the sit bones, really spread those fingers, maybe shift a bit more weight into the right shoulder, lots of space between ears. Power up that left standing leg. On the inhale, we shift forward. Right knee finds right elbow. We find that plank. And exhale, release. So we'll go through a few of these rounds. Just pick your pace. If you want to go a little faster, go for it. If you need to go slower, feel free. We just keep that nice deep breath. Drawing in. Releasing out. Wherever you are in this cycle, We'll slowly roll all the way forward. We start to sweep that right knee forward. We come into our deep lizard lunge. So maybe a couple steps. We'll untuck the back toe, release the left knee. Again, we just rock left and right. So think about just exploring into this side. Where can you make a little bit more space? And as you're ready, we'll go a little bit deeper. We might use those blocks. We might find the elbows onto the floor. We might even reach through the right knee, roll onto the right toes. Think about releasing the back of the head. Allow yourself to sink in. Inhale here. As we exhale, palms will find the floor. We'll press the hips back. We'll just straighten up the front leg, bowing towards the knee. We start to point and flex the toe. Feeling that nice space behind the right side body. Relaxing the eyes, relaxing the facial muscles, releasing the jaw. Noticing where that tension starts to creep back in and send that breath to those areas. As we exhale, we might bend into right knee, palms find the inside of the right foot. We'll just sway back to find the knees together. We'll press back into our down dog and just pedaling through those heels a few more times. On the next inhale, we find stillness. Exhale, we start to press into the palms. We walk the hands back to meet the feet. We start to shimmy. Slight bend in the knees, we find this forward fold. So feet are hip-width apart, we release the torso, release the back of the neck. Hands wrap around the elbows, we start to sway left and right. So we feel this nice rocking sensation. Next exhale, we find stillness. Inhaling, left palm finds inside of the big toes. We'll bend into the left knee and then open up to the right side through the fingertips. So we think about reaching through the right heel. So both knees can be bent if that feels better. If you're able to keep the right knee straight, we start to gaze towards the right fingers. Big inhale here. As we exhale, we'll unfold. We'll head right onto the other side. So right knee bends, the right palm banks, left leg straightens. We peek over left shoulder. We reach through. And just think about stacking the shoulders, relaxing the face. Another inhale here. As we exhale, we'll slowly unwind. We'll again find that forward fold. Inhale, we half lift, nice flat back. Exhale, reverse swan dive, we start to stand with a nice flat back. We'll zip up the thighs, we start to gaze towards the ceiling. And then exhale, palms find the heart. So we'll just take a moment here, so toes can be nice and close together, or you can have a, a wide stance. We're just gonna close the eyes. So as we intentionally shift the weight of the body into the toes, we just notice how that feels. And intentionally shift that weight into the heels. So going back from toes to heels a few times. 
We do our best to keep the eyes closed. If they do need to open, just find that focus spot on the floor. Notice how the breath might be lost. We invite that exhale back in. As we find some stillness, we lighten the eyes. We might find the floor. We start to just shift our weight to left side. If the mat is a little too wobbly, feel free to come onto the hardwood floor. So we start to shift the weight. The right knee draws up to hip height. We'll wrap the right fingers around the knee. Start to roll the right shoulder back. We plug the right hip in. Open through the heart once again. Left palm can be out to the side or on the hip, whatever feels best. We start to slowly roll and draw the right leg to the side. And we just keep finding that balance the whole time. Keep readjusting the body and the breath. Find those new focus spots. Yeah, let's rotate the ankle. That feels good. <laughs> and we imagine, we keep imagining that cable, that string pulling us towards the ceiling. We lengthen tall. On the exhale, right knee draws back to navel. We just switch up the hands. So if you need to toe tap down, go for it. If not, we start to reach through the right side. The gaze might even move with the hand, or you might want to keep the gaze towards the front wall. So to think about rotating through the spine and the chest to start. And if you do feel super steady and stable, gaze can move towards the fingers. And as we exhale here, we slowly release back to center. We just place that right ankle on top of left knee. We sit deep into our standing pigeon. So reaching through the fingertips, open through the heart. Notice if the tailbone is hyperextending, so we start to drop the tailbone towards the floor. Start to think about dropping the ribs towards the hips. And then reopen the heart from there. And then maybe sink a little bit deeper. See where we can go with this. On the inhale, we'll stand nice and tall. We exhale, let's just release the right leg behind the body we come to warrior three. We find some stillness. Arms can move wherever they need to move to. Good. On the exhale, we start to lower down. We might connect to the floor. We might connect to the knee or the ankle. We start to tuck the head, tuck the chin. We bow forward. Again, lots of balance and strength on this side. Feel free to come out if you need and just come right back when you're ready. Inhaling, we start to tuck the back knee. We'll sit on down into a spinal twist so the right knee sits behind the left heel. And we just root through those sit bones. Inhaling, we'll draw the knee into the heart. We'll just give our knee a nice hug. And we'll start to reach over the left shoulder. So as we make our way, we continue inhaling and exhaling. So take your time. Don't feel like you need to go into your deepest twist just yet. We inhale and lift, exhale, just pulse your way in and out. See where you can make the space. On the next inhale, slow release, unwind back to center. We'll drop the front knee and begin just bowing the head we release to the floor. We might connect the hands. Melting into Another deep inhale here. We start to exhale, lift, and lengthen. Reaching back with the palms behind those hips, we'll zip up the thighs, toes find each other, ankles zip up. We start to power through the heels and begin lifting into a reverse plank. One big nice inhale here. As we exhale, lower down through those hips, we'll forward fold. We might connect through the toes or the ankles. Good, releasing the back of the neck, finding that new breath. But as we inhale, we start to lift and lengthen. We just start to cross those ankles. We're going to roll forward onto those knees once again. We find our way back into our downward dog. Again, pressing through the palms, we walk the palms to meet the toes. We might even bend into the knees. We'll roll the spine to standing. We once again find ourselves on our feet. So we shift over to opposite foot. We spread those fingers or those toes nice and wide. Left knee draws to the navel. We'll plug the hip in. We'll roll the shoulder back. We'll open through the heart. And we just find this nice focus spot. Maybe arm comes to sides. Let's rotate the ankles again. Inhaling, we slowly open to left side. 
So continue imagining this cable anchoring yourself to the ceiling, powering up this right side, rooting through the toes. On the exhale, we'll draw back through center. And as you're ready, we'll just switch on up those hands. We'll reach through the fingertips opposite side. And again, if it's too wobbly, come onto that floor. Find that new focus spot. Always feel free to come on out. Come right back when you're ready. And as we exhale, we slowly unwind. Ankle finds top of knee. We sit on back. We find that pigeon. We reach through the fingertips, open through the heart. And again, think about drawing the ribs towards the hips and then dropping the tailbone towards the floor. And then refocusing the gaze. As we inhale, we'll lift and lengthen. We'll just shoot the left leg behind the body. We start to fold forward. We find our warrior three. So power through that standing leg, lift through the kneecap, square up the hips, and then just reach evenly through fingers and toes. We find this strength, this courage to keep going and breathing through the difficult moments. And as we exhale, we'll bend through the left knee. We start to tuck behind. Oh, I'm sorry. Before we do that, we have to tip forward. Let's lift through the left leg. Keep it nice and even. <laughs> and then reach. So we might connect to the blocks or the fingertips. And then as you're ready, we'll start to tuck that knee behind the right side. We'll connect to the floor. We'll just start to root into the sit bones. So we find our seated spinal twist on this opposite side. We start to draw the knee into the heart. We'll lengthen again through crown and start to peek over the right side, twisting gently. And again, I like to just take the time to ease into the twist. So we may inhale, lengthen, and exhale, deepen through. And then again, release a little bit, kind of make your way into that deeper posture. No pressure to go deep right away. As we exhale, we start to unwind. We'll just bow towards the top knee. We'll release the forehead. We'll tuck the chin. Inhaling, lifting the spine, we'll find a seated posture. Then we just start to release through, extend through the legs. On the inhale, lifting through the fingertips. Exhale, tucking the chin, we'll slowly release the spine onto the floor as slow as we can, squeeze through the thighs. If you need to assist grabbing onto the thighs, go for it. Try to go as slow as you can with control and grace and releasing down. Fingertips reach overhead. We come into a full body stretch. Reach, reach, reach through the fingers and the toes. On the exhale, we just let go of the entire body. Inhaling, knees draw into the heart. We give ourselves a nice hug. We might rock left and right. On the exhale, knees draw out to the sides. We'll come into this nice butterfly position. So just supporting the weight of the legs on top or on bottom. Maybe connecting with the heels. We open up the inner thigh. On the exhale, we start to bend knees into shoulders. We'll reach to outsides of pinky toes. We start to draw the knees into the shoulder area. We can rock left and right, massaging the tailbone just a bit more. So continuing to rock and breathe. We're going to slowly transition into our Shavasana, our, our final resting posture. If you have some more stretches you'd like to get in tonight, feel free to continue in your practice. If you are ready to rest, we'll just release the legs. We'll release the palms facing the ceiling. The toes will splay out to the sides. We'll roll the shoulders underneath the body. We just find some stillness to rest on our mat tonight. If you have any extra layers you want to put on, feel free. I'll just be walking around to help adjust.
Let's exhale. We start to find our fingers and our toes. And take a moment to bring ourselves back to our yoga space. Take a big inhale and exhale. And we slowly transition. We might roll onto one side, allowing the head to rest onto the arms. Taking a moment to yourself. Whenever you're ready, we start to press the palms away from the earth. We lift the spine. We come back to a seated posture. So whatever feels comfortable for the body so the breath is easy. You might relax the eyes once again. You might find a focus spot on the floor. We inhale deeply, drawing the palms to the heart. As we next exhale, releasing fingers to sides, the body will sweep and absorb the energy in the room. We'll gather this yoga practice and the palms releasing back to the heart. Again, let's close the eyes. We just acknowledge our practice this Monday night. We notice the breath. We notice the body. Find gratefulness for our health and our movement. On the next inhale, we'll draw the thumbs up to the forehead. We'll rest the thumbs between the eyebrows. We'll release the shoulders away from the ears. And as we bow together, we start to release the head and the hands into our yoga seal. Resting the head on the floor, maybe on the palms. We take a moment to honor our practice. We bow to each other. We bow to our practice. We bow to the teachers before us. On the next inhale, we start to lift and lengthen. We stack the spine once again. And just releasing the palms to the heart, just stacking one on top of the other. We again remember those intentions we set at the beginning of practice. We notice how that moved through us the last hour, what we've cultivated what we've been able to let go of. Another deep inhale, drawing the palms back to the heart as we bow to each other in closing our practice. Namaste. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Feel free to hang out for a while if you want to keep stretching. I think we actually have some tea coming, so... Enjoy. Yeah, you're so welcome. Thanks for coming. It's so fun. <laughs> Does anyone want any tea? I can go see on that. Okay. <laughs>